Lou Ferrigno, the actor and bodybuilder who played the Incredible Hulk, built his body to be that of a superhero in response to bullying he experienced as a child. The actor loved to read Spider-Man and the Incredible Hulk comic books and looked to Steve Reeves, who played Hercules, for inspiration. Lou would not only play the Hulk, but also end up playing Hercules himself. Anybody that grew up in the 70s and owned a television set knows who Lou Ferrigno is, and so does anybody who ever picked up a muscle magazine back in the day with hopes of becoming their own version of the Incredible Hulk. In this video we talk about the Incredible Hulk, Lou Ferrigno, and stay tuned to later on in the video to find out what real life, superhuman feat of strength Lou performed while working on the Incredible Hulk TV show. Lou was born in Brooklyn, New York in November 9th, 1951. His father was an actual police lieutenant. Now Ferrigno lost 75 to 80 percent of his hearing due to ear infections he got as a child. And this condition was diagnosed when he was three years old. Hearing loss and his speech impediment caused Ferrigno to be bullied by peers during his childhood who called him deaf and mute. Now around this time he began reading comic books such as Hulk and Spider-Man. And later he, was say, he said that he was obsessed with power and he wanted to be strong enough so that he could defend himself. Ferrigno started weight training at age 13. While Lou is the role model of many of us who lift weights today, his role model was the great Steve Reeves who played Hercules in the 1950s. Lou couldn't afford to buy his own weights or go to a gym, so he made his own weights with a broomstick and pails of cement. Lou was not the kind of guy to let money problems, bullies, or health problems hold him back. The more life threw at Lou, the more determined it would seem that Lou became. As a bodybuilder, Frigno won a Mr. America title and two consecutive Mr. Universe titles and appeared in the bodybuilding documentary Pumping Iron when he attempted to beat Arnold in 1977. Now during the early days of his bodybuilding career, it apparently it didn't pay a whole lot of money, so he was actually having to work a ten dollar an hour job as a metal worker in a Brooklyn factory. And he did that for three years. He didn't like the dangerous work though, and he left after a friend and co-worker accidentally cut his hand off. Now by 1992, Lude went back into bodybuilding competitions, and he weighed an astounding 315 pounds at a height of 6 foot 5 inches. In 1977, Lou was cast as the Hulk. Frigno and Bill Bixby became friends during this time. Frigno has described Bixby as a mentor and father figure who took him under his wing. Now in the scene of the first Hulk TV movie where Lou Ferrigno as the Hulk overturns a car down a hill, Lou actually did that as the effects team weren't able to set it up fast enough for him and he had been working for hours, it was like 4 o'clock in the morning, he was tired and wet and he wanted to go home. He was feeling kind of angry, you know. So he just lifted the whole car, overturned it basically because the more angry Lou gets, the stronger he gets. In 78 and 79, Frigno appeared in Battle of the Network Stars. I wouldn't have, been, <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to have been one of the stars competing against him. In 1983, Frigno appeared as John Six in a short-lived medical drama, Trauma Center. Interestingly enough, he showed up once on The Fall Guy, starring Lee Majors, has his character from Trauma Center, and once again as himself, doing an Incredible Hulk scene where he actually knocks out Lee Major's character from the show, Cult Seavers. Now this would be the closest we ever get to a dream matchup between the Hulk and the Six Million R Man. If you're liking this video so far, please comment, hit that like button, and consider subscribing to our channel. We really need all the help we can get. We love pop culture here, comic books, television shows, movies, and anything else that's fun. Now Lou Ferrigno would return to the role of the Hulk bigger than ever for three TV reunion movies, The Incredible Hulk Returns, The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, and The Death of the Incredible Hulk, between 1988 and 1990. Now, there were plans for another installment, but the death of Bill Bixby ended hopes for another Hulk movie. In 1996, Lou returned to the Hulk again. This time, he was doing the voice of the Hulk for the Incredible Hulk cartoon series. This series ran for two seasons and 21 episodes, and originally ran on the UPN network. Now, I always thought this was neat. He appeared in the sitcom The King of Queens for 20 episodes as himself with his real-life wife. They played neighbors. 
Now one of the running gags in the series is that the neighbors were always fascinated by him. So all the neighbors are like getting on Lou's nerves in the show, right? And Lou, he hates people telling him Hulk jokes, you know, like uh, one example, Doug, played by Kevin James, he gets mad and Lou attempts to try to calm him down. So uh, Doug responds with that famous line from the opening of The Incredible Hulk, Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Now Lou's son, Lou Ferrigno Jr., he also works in television, and he's been playing rocker on the rebooted TV show SWAT on CBS. Lou Ferrigno has made cameo appearances as a security guard in both the 2003 film Hulk and the 2008 film The Incredible Hulk, in which he also voiced the Hulk. Fun fact, did you know that the green wig Lou Ferrigno wore as the Hulk was made of dyed yak hair? Lou often wore green slippers for outdoor Hulk scenes to protect his feet, even though, of course, the Hulk was supposed to be barefoot. Now, one day Lou got angry and drove home before he got his Hulk makeup off and caused a minor traffic accident. I can only imagine driving down the road and seeing the Hulk driving a car. Now, here's kind of a sad note. The same day Lou met President Ronald Reagan, he found out the series was canceled on the radio which of course shocked him as the ratings were still good at the time. In recent years, Lou Ferrigno has done some me TV commercials for The Incredible Hulk. Don't pick me off, Wonder Woman. I'm in. Goodbye. Alrighty, that's it for TV Crazy Man today. Now, my, of course, my real name is Tim Frady, author of several graphic novels like Caveman Comics, The Monkey Monster Man, The Suburban Suburbanals, yeah, that's it, and also author of the sci-fi novel series, The Time Cruisers. It's all about time travel and adventure. It's really cool, y'all. Check it out. It's on. Oh, it's on Amazon right now. Amazon.com. Thank you, and please subscribe. Hit that like uh, button there and uh, the bell for future notifications and comment and just anything you can do to help out our channel. Really appreciate it. Thanks a whole lot. Ha oh, and have a great day.